Alberta Jobs Minister Lori Sigurdsson re-announced her flagship job creation program on Monday. Her job creation vehicle is called the Jobs Creation Incentive Program. It's basically a $5,000 grant to employers for every job they create. Now, this program was announced in last week's budget with very few details, and it was re-announced again by Minister Sigurdsson with the same amount of vagary on Monday. But here's what we do know. The program itself rolls out January 2016. It gives the employer a $5,000 grant for each new job created up to $500,000. So 100 full-time jobs per employer. The program is capped at $89 million annually and is administered on a first-come, first-served basis. This means a maximum of 18,000 new jobs have to be created by this program. We're losing a thousand jobs per week in Alberta. This doesn't even come close to making a dent in the job losses since Notley herself took office. But here's the part besides all the vagary that sends up alarm bells for me. The program allows charities and nonprofits to qualify for the grant. That's strange. The energy sector is the one bleeding jobs. And now they have to compete for limited grant dollars with nonprofits and charities. When I hear nonprofits, that sounds a heck of a lot like left wing pals of the NDP to me. Now, why do I say that? Well, Finance Minister Joe Sisi comes from a left wing nonprofit background. And how many of these first come, first serve grants will be scooped up by union members and left wing activists? as opposed to the oil patch that so desperately needs the break right now. And who do you think will get all the details first? And $89 million is really just a drop in the bucket. Shell walked away from their Carmen Creek project already $2 billion into construction. Transelta just put their $1.6 billion Sundance 7 project on the shelf until the next decade. How big of an impact do you really think this $89 million will have on stemming the exodus of multi-billion dollar projects. I mean, Shell just walked away from 22 and a half times more than $89 million in Carmen Creek alone. And what about the rollout of this program? It applies to jobs created after January 2016. Can an employer lay off someone before Christmas and rehire them? after January to take advantage of the tax credit while actually creating really no net new jobs? I don't know. And neither does the NDP. As best I can tell, this program as it sits is rife for abuse. Then there's the administration of this program. Businesses don't need to navigate through any more red tape. Amber Ruddy of the Canadian Federation of Independent Businesses explains here. If the small business job incentive is going to um, affect a large number of our businesses, it has to be low on red tape. We'd much prefer to see a small business corporate income tax cut than to have to apply for new programs and tax credits. Now, I venture to guess the only real jobs created by this program will be in the bureaucracy that will be needed to administer it all. Albertans, Give Notley only four years at this because after eight years, not even a PST can save us. For the Rebel.media, I'm Sheila Gunn Reid.